Hello everybody, this is Eli, and today I'm going to be making this awesome leather pencil pouch that will fit perfectly in a binder. Let's get started. So I just started with this sheet of water buffalo leather, and I cut two rectangles that are 6 inches wide by 12 inches long. And I just used an ordinary box cutting knife to cut this and it cut great. And now you can see I have two sheets. And then I went over to my sewing machine and just found a stitch that I wanted it to um, sew. So I used number 29 and I just programmed it into the sewing machine so it would sew that uh, pattern. Then I just put some thread on a bobbin and started putting a uh, thread onto the bobbin. Then once all that was done, I just took the two sheets of leather and put, put them face down onto each other and then just stitched the two left and right sides. Now you can see I have one side and now I'm just stitching the other side. Now you can see I have that sewed. And once both of them are sewed, I just needed to sew the back part shut. So I just did the same exact process that I did for the left and right and just sewed the back. surprisingly uh, didn't break any needles on this leather so the sewing machine worked really great I'll put a link in the description of where you can get a sewing machine like this and now you can see that they're all sewed and if you look really closely you can see that the edge of each um, ends were a little bit rough so I just used a, a straight edge and a box cutting knife and just cut off the edges so they're nice and straight and then once all those were straight I just took the pencil pouch and flipped it inside out because I wanted the shiny part side to be on the outside of the pencil pouch. And I just took some time and made the corners so they look nice. And then the next two steps were to put the eye hooks for the binder clip and to put the zipper on. So the next step was to put the little eye hooks. So what I did, I took this binder clip and I just lined it up with the pencil pouch. And where each ring was, I just took a sharpie and marked a little dot. So then whenever I stitched the pencil pouch, I just cut the threads so I made a little slot on each line and then took some 330 paracord, cut about a 4 inch piece of it, glued the two ends together to make about a little donut and then I just slid it right into the slot on the pencil pouch. And as you can see in the top right corner, those are the three eye hooks. And I just repeated the process three times. That's the eye hook that I was making. And now you can see that's where the three eye hooks are. Then I just took some needle and a uh, thread. And where each eye hook was, I just went on the inside of the pencil pouch and stitched through the paracord and through the leather so that um, the eye hook would stay on the pencil pouch really nice. So I just went a, a back and forth about 15 times through the paracord and leather. And now you can see it's nice and strong. And then I just repeated that process two more times. all secure. 
then after that, the uh, the paracord stuck out a little bit on the inside, so I just used some scissors and a razor knife and just cut off the excess paracord. And just basically cleaned it up. Now I have the three eye hooks. And I'm just making sure it fits and it fits perfectly. Then the next step was just to put the zipper on. So I took my jacket and I just wanted to mimic exactly how the pocket was made. So as you can see, the zipper, the thin part of the zipper was sewed onto the jacket and then the zipper was just on the inside. So I just had to copy that. So, um, since the zipper wasn't the exact length of the whole pencil pouch, I had to make the ends a little bit shorter, so I just went through the sewing machine with a simple stitch and just stitched about half an inch in on the inside. Now you can see both ends are stitched. Then I just took the zipper, I'll put a link in the description of one like it, and then I just stitched it with a really simple stitch onto the pencil pouch. And now they're both stitched on. And as you can see, there's this little gap right where the zipper and the leather meet. So I just took this needle and thread and just sewed that up by hand. And then I just started heating up the pipe for my brand. And I will say this smelled really bad. But it did burn in really nicely. So then for the finish, I used this leather treatment. I'll put a link in the description of where I got it. It's just some oil. And I just wiped it on the pencil pouch and it made the leather really nice and shiny and treated it really uh, well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, this thing turned out really great, way better than I thought it would. It was actually pretty easy, easy to make and um, I use it every day in my binder at school. It holds about 30 pencils, probably at the max, and it fits great and looks really cool in my binder. I also want to say another thing. Thank you guys so much for the subscribers. We're almost at 900. It is awesome. Just thank you so much. See you on the next video.